Yo, what's up, YouTube? All right, guys. We're hitting uh, the end of week three, starting week four. And just uh, check out the the production on these girls. This is only week three. We're going to start week four. And they're just fucking blowing up. You can see how good they're stacking. They're really, really stacked really nicely. Hey, get out of there. Fucking cat. She's in there fucking walking around, being nosy. But yeah, you can see these girls are stacking up really nice. They're really starting to produce that frost. But they're doing real nice. I can't complain. Everything in here is doing fucking phenomenal, including the gelatos back there in the back. And it just smells amazing, guys. This Gorilla Glue right here smells fucking amazing. I just barely touched it, and it's fucking crazy. These two plants right here are their first. Uh, they're starting their week, second week in the flower. They just get our transition feeding this past Sunday. So I'm gonna water them today. Cause tomorrow I'll be out of town for the next few days uh, going to my son's graduation but um, this will be the last update until next week guys for now but everything is doing really good you can see the tents filled up nice corner to corner pretty much everywhere except for this little gap right here which I'll probably slide this one back and pull these forward just a little bit but you can see they're already starting to stretch and in about another week I'll take them off of the crate that they're on they'll be sitting on the floor and uh, I might throw the crate on that gelato back there because she doesn't really like to stretch. She gets real bushy, but she doesn't like to get real tall um, unless you veg her longer. But I don't have the time to veg her longer when I'm cycling, so I put her in the size she is. I try to pick the best one that I can, but you can just see how good these buds are stacking, guys. If I can do it without the fucking light being in the way. Sorry, guys. I know it's hard to to see it with all the fucking HPS lighting. There we go, it's a little bit of a better picture. But you can just see those buds back there are stacking up. That's the kryptonite. We got the Gorilla Glue right up front here. And then the gelatos in the back right there, that little shorty. Uh, but it's alright. She's probably one of the more frostier buds that I get out of them. I like it, it's my personal favorite, that and the Gorilla Glue. The Kryptonite is fire as well. I love the Kryptonite as well. They're all good. These are all good strains. Um, I'm not sure what clones those are. I think they're either Kryptonites or Gelatos. So uh, I got some Gorilla Glues in cloning right now in the closet. And uh, as soon as uh, those get rooted, I'm going to transplant them. They're already starting to put out roots. It's only been about a week maybe. But they've already got little root, like uh, knots on the bottom of the stub where the roots start to come out. So uh, as soon as those get rooted, I'll put them into some cocoa and then uh, get them going for vegging. That way, that way when, when these are harvested, I can slide these over and put four Gorilla Glues in here or whatever I want to put in there as far as clones. I also got some clones that I got to re-veg that I took off of these girls here like a week ago. The buds, just, I'll show you the bud sizes here in just a minute. But from going from this to what I'm showing you, it's pretty crazy what they've done in a week. Just, I mean, look at all the buds that are stacked in there. And they're all they're they're tightly uh, spaced out, guys. <clears throat> Those buds are gonna be some solid colas on these girls, especially now that I'm running HPS. LED is great too to run, <clears throat> especially for heat and for power consumption. But HPS, you get a little bit more of that kick, um, unless you're running cobs or something like that. In that case, you're gonna get that kick as well. Uh, but it's just a little bit different of a grow uh, that I've noticed. You get a little, uh, it just depends on your genetics too, what genetics you're running. Um, these plants right here, I have done nothing to them. I just, other than topped them before I put them in the flower. And uh, I haven't lollipopped them, I haven't done nothing to them. What I'll do is once uh, they start flowering, I'll go through the bottom and they're done with their stretch. I'll go ahead and clean up the bottoms like I did to these girls here. As you can see, they're pretty cleaned out under here. There's a few branches that I didn't get, but 
uh, for the most part it's pretty pretty cleaned out and I have them pretty spread out look at the size of this girl right here let me pull her out she's a big big plant I can't even get her into the frame shot all of it but she's pretty wide around she's about a good three two and a half feet three feet around um, and the other gelato you can see her just sitting back there <laughs> But it's all right. Should be good. I'll rotate them. I wrote these plants periodically, like every other three days, four days. I'll come in here and I'll turn them quarter turns or half turns, so that way they're getting uh, light spread, the light coverage as best as I can on all sides. That way, all the buds are uniformly uh, dense and and in size. Uh, but yeah, you can see how squatted that gelato is compared to this uh, gorilla glue here. But that's because I branched her out and super cropped her. That's why she's so wide. But these buds are going to be nice and dense. Uh, really, really can't wait till these girls are done. Um, I personally only have a little bit of smoke left, so I've been, uh, I picked me up about seven grams of some shatter and some crumble. Um, really, really fucking fire shit, guys. <clears throat> I have a, a good, good connect over here where I'm at. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This is some gelato. Uh, I think it's called uh, This is some shatter, but it's uh critical gelato and this shit smells and tastes just like that fucking gelato that I'm growing, guys. Fucking fire, fire, fire. I'm I was happy when I purchased um, all this all this shatter. I got about four grams of this and about three grams of some cake ball shatter. I got some uh, afgu and uh, what else did I get? Got a couple other things. But yeah, some really good shit, guys. That uh, cake balls is uh, it's a cross of the gelato too, and it's really really fucking fire. But this one here is fucking damn, it's fucking good. It tastes and smells just like that gelato that I'm growing. Fucking killer, man. Um, that afku is pretty decent, too. I can, I can show you guys that if you want to take a look at it real quick. Alright, this is that afku. I've been smoking the hell out of it, so this is a little bit more of a butter. But really, really, really fire shit. I have another butter that's a little bit lighter than this. It's, uh, I don't know what strain it is, but it's good too. <clears throat> um, I picked up those uh, grams for, I think, I think I paid about 15 or 18 bucks a gram for the shatter and for the crumble. Uh, really good price from some good people that I know. Uh, so they hooked me up just to keep me through the next like four weeks until these girls are done, five weeks. Once these girls are done, then I'll have another supply. But then 30 days after that, those girls will be ready. And then I'll have the other ones vegged out and put in here the Gorilla Glues. So, yeah, that's the way that's going to end up going. Let me show you guys the veg closet. And I'll show you the clones that I'm talking about. Oh, it's warm in here. All right. So those are the clones I cut off of the, the, the plants that we were just looking at. And just look at the size of the buds compared to the other ones. I mean, they're just massive, but those will re-veg and go back into normal clones, no issues. Um, and that right there, I have some Gorilla Glues in, uh, in DWC. They look a little wobbly, but they're okay, guys. They're just fine. They're rooting. They're starting to root right now. I just checked them out, and those ones have an air stone going to them. Those are just sitting in water for now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them or even keep them, but I don't know. We'll see. I got more clones if I need more and more seeds. Uh, but anyways, yeah, for right now, these, these Gorilla Glues, um, I brought them in from outside, so I segregated them, and I sprayed them down and cleaned them up, made sure there was no bugs, and I uh, went through them with the magnifying glass just to make sure. And I know there's things that are smaller than magnifying glass can pick up, like thrips and other shit, but I'm pretty sure that there's nothing on them. I was just spraying them preventative maintenance every three weeks, and I don't think there's anything on them. But like I said, they're segregated in here for now. Um, I gotta come through and clean out this floor mat because it's really filthy right now. Uh, and those clones, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or toss them. They're all mixed up together, every string. So, 
Uh, I won't know till they start growing. Uh, but alright guys, be safe, have a good day, God bless.